What's going on guys? Ryan King here and this is the Blade King channel. So I'm super excited about this video I got for you guys today. This is a knife that I'm just pumped about. This thing is freaking cool. I'm excited about it. Full disclosure, this is my personal knife. Um, this was not sent to me or anything. And I've already opened this. I'll just be honest with you guys. Uh, I've had this knife for a little while now, but I put it back in the box because I wanted you guys to just really get to feel the full experience of what all comes in the package and uh, just kind of get, get an idea of what you're going to be looking at when you get yours in if you decide to get one of these. So this is obviously from Terrain 365. And let's get into this box and see what we got right here. So inside of your box... You have this nice pouch right here. It says Terrain 365, a super, super nice little pouch. And inside we have a little bit of paperwork. And this right here actually comes with a little bottle of oil. I already oiled this knife, went through it and uh, cleaned it up with that oil. And basically what this oil is for is for the tang of the knife so that the uh, lock bar doesn't stick to the tang of the knife. I think it's something to do with the blade material and the uh, steel lock bar insert. So it comes with a little thing of oil. It's not in here, like I said, but you have that. You get this really cool um, patch that is the Terrain 365 logo. And your knife will come just like this. This is mine and Oh baby, you guys have no idea how sweet this knife is. I, there's no way to just do it justice how beautiful this thing is. So this is the Terrain 365 and Prometheus Design Works Invictus. This is the bolstered version, the ATB. It's the full size in canvas micarta. And you can tell I've carried this knife a little bit. This come, this is a little bit lighter straight out of the box, but it patinas almost like leather. It's just, it's so, so sweet. It's really satisfying how well this knife patinas and looks. But uh, first thing we're going to talk about on this bad boy is the aesthetics. I freaking love this. This is probably one of my favorite knives that I've ever handled. It's so crisp and clean and modern. I'm a big fan of the bolstered uh, the bolstered look. It's a bolster lock and milled titanium clips. Very simplistic hardware I think is a good way to put that. It's kind of minimal, not really showy or flashy, but it just complements the design and overall aesthetic of this knife so well. Uh, it's, it's, so, it's so crisp. It's not like showy and flashy but at the same time it's just got a really kind of a distinguished uh classy look to it and I, I just i absolutely love it i love everything about this knife um you do have a lanyard loop right here it's not very obvious it's just built into the back spacer which the back spacer is a full back spacer and uh one cool thing about this knife your back spacer kind of acts as your stop pin uh, same concept as your stop pin for your blade so it's actually your blade stop and you guys can see that union there is just absolutely perfect the back of your blade has a nice rounded spot where it catches that back spacer i think that's just a really cool way to uh, integrate that full back spacer and give it a lot of functionality so with this knife you do you have a spear point blade it is fullered and then you have really nice, really nice thumb studs. Uh, one thing about this, you have beautiful uh, contouring around the edges of it. And the actual knife, is, it's probably hard to tell on camera, but you have kind of a concave uh, rounded shape to the entire handle. And in the hand, this thing just feels so good. It locks you right in. There's no hot spots. And then you have a really nice finger choil right here for a great, great choke up point. And uh, you kind of have a dip here in this in this blade, so you have a really good point where you get a lot of good pressure on there, and it feels really, really nice. Um, action on this knife, hands down, one of the best actions straight out of the box that 
I've ever felt on a knife. It is just, it's, I mean, it's, it was like this out of the box, perfectly drop shut. Detent is very, very well tuned. You've got plenty of resistance right up to that point that it breaks and then it just sort of flies right open. And I mean that, I'm telling you, it is just so, ah, uh, knife so crisp. So the biggest thing about this knife that really sets it apart from other knives is the blade material. So it's not metal. This knife is not metal. It is made of Terrain 365's proprietary blend of dendritic cobalt. It's a hundred percent non-ferrous, non-magnetic, and non-corrosive, and it is called Teravantium. And from what I can tell, this stuff is pretty freaking sweet. So it's not just a standard dendritic cobalt. I, I believe that this is Terrain 365's you know, personal blend of whatever the components are that make this dendritic cobalt, this teravantium. So, uh, it has really, really, really good edge retention. Kind of takes a toothy edge. Um, this knife does get very, very sharp. I've heard people say, you know, it won't hold that hair splitting edge, but mine actually has pretty well held that shaving edge since I've gotten this knife. And it just it just shreds pretty much anything that you want to cut with it. Uh, the fact that this is a hundred percent rust proof and corrosion resistance. It's it's full titanium frame with the canvas micarta. All the hardware is titanium, and there's nothing on this knife that can corrode. You could take this sucker, chunk it out into the ocean, leave it for ten years, I'm assuming, and come back. Dig that sucker out of the sand, wash it off, and it'd look just like when you threw it in there. Maybe some degradation to the canvas my cart. I really don't know how that would hold up. But the fact that this thing will not rust or corrode is just mind-boggling to me. This Teravantium stuff is just super cool. It's almost a futuristic uh, blade material, I guess, is a good way to put it. It's, you, you know, it's not just something that you're just going to go buy over the counter at your local tractor supply or a, a sporting goods store or something. This is just a, man, it's just a really, really cool knife. Uh, one thing about it that I have kind of noticed, I got this back, I, don't, I guess, five or six months ago, and I actually got this as a Christmas gift. But from what I understand, these are pretty small batch knives. And I just happened to buy the Canvas Micarta version that I wanted. They had it in stock when I went to the website and I immediately ordered it. Uh, literally within an hour of me getting shipping confirmation that this knife had been shipped, it showed on their website as sold out. So I'm thinking that Terrain 365 is making a very limited number of these because since Christmas I have checked back several times on their website and there is nothing left in stock. So I don't know what the production rate on this knife is or exactly how hard it is to get your hands on one of these. I, I couldn't tell you because I just kind of looked into it, got the exact version that I wanted the first time I logged into the website. And I don't know when they'll be available again, honestly. But I definitely, definitely want to reiterate, if you're thinking about this knife or if you're on the fence about it and you just are kind of questioning about that blade material and you're not real sure about it. Guys, this thing is everything you could dream of. It is like a Cadillac of a knife. It's so, so nice fit and finish. I've never held a knife that I think has any better finishing on it. Every edge is knocked down. It's so well-rounded. The jimping is perfect. Even the thumb studs are so well done. There, I mean, there's no hot spots on this knife. It is really, it is a machining work of art. And it is USA made. Which is freaking awesome. I love supporting things that are made right here in the U.S. 
this knife to me is a home run from Terrain 365, and I really, I hope that I'm able to pick up another one. Honest to goodness, I'd like to have a second one and keep one that is not used, and I'd like to have one that I keep as a constant user because I, I just really love this design. That action is crazy. So this thing is running on ceramic bearings, and they're ultra smooth. I mean, ultra, ultra smooth. You have incredible blade centering. Right out of the box, the blade centering on this knife was just dead nuts perfect. And in the backspacer, you can see, and maybe you guys can see that in the camera, there's a little groove right there, and that blade lines up perfectly. That is perfectly dead center. And if you line that blade up, if you take this thing apart and you line that blade back up with that groove, you know that it's perfectly centered. I think that's a neat little a neat little feature that's in this knife that's just super cool. Another thing about this knife that's kind of neat that you're not going to see on everything is these thumb studs actually are glow studs. So I'm assuming if you're using this knife, just say you take it camping, you're going to be, you know, sitting around the fire and you're wanting to maybe, I don't know, cut some rope or something, cut some lashing for your tent, but you don't want to lose this knife in the night. You can actually take a flashlight and hold it on these thumb studs for just a very short duration of time and they hold a charge and glow for quite a long time honestly. I have charged this thing up and it'll fade dim enough that like in the daylight it's hard to see but once the once the sun goes down or it gets dark or you have this in a dark room you'll notice that they're still holding a charge and you can see you can still see those studs they actually glow surprisingly well. So that is just a just a cool feature. If you like things like that, which I do, I just think that it's just super cool. So I really don't know what else to say about it. You have, um, I didn't mention that the body screws are T6, and then your pivot screw is a T8, but your body screws and your lock bar insert are all T6s and I'm not the biggest fan of T6 hardware. I really like the T8. T6 is just stripped too easy for my preference but one good thing about this knife is the construction is so simplistic there's only two screws for the body and it's very minimal and you don't really have to I don't know I, I don't think that in a knife with this design that it's really that big of a deal. Uh, I haven't had any trouble getting those screws to break loose. I put just a little bit of Loctite blue back on them when I put when I reassembled this knife after I oiled it. I did oil it um, because of the oil that came with it recommended that you put just a dab of oil on the tang and then I went through with it and put uh, nano oil, 10 weight nano oil on the bearings just because I like the, I prefer the nano oil. But I assure you this is the action that I got from this knife out of the box. No, no gimmicks about it. I, it really worked this well straight out of the box. Uh, I, I can't really tell that the action improved any over uh, with the nano oil over what, what came out of the box. And I love that feel. Oh, and the acoustics. Man, the acoustics are satisfying on this knife. I think it's the Teravantium. I don't know if it's the density of this material but it has such a satisfying thud. Instead of a ting, like a metallic ting, it's kind of got like a thud to it. So maybe if I hold this a little closer to the mic, you guys can hear. It's just, it's so nice. That action's just unbelievable. I think Terrain 365 needs to make more of these, make these more readily available. I love this knife. It's kind of a gentleman's knife. It looks good, like something I would carry in my khakis on a Sunday or something. It's just, man, I just, I really like this thing. I have no complaints about it so far, and I have been using it since Christmas, so I've actually had this knife pretty much in my pocket with, I mean, pretty good use for right at a month now and it has not disappointed. It's been everything that I hoped it would be, and I definitely, definitely would not hesitate to pick up another one, and if you're kind of on the fence, like I said before, it's worth the money. It, it truly is worth 
the price, and we'll talk about that. The price that they're asking for this knife, I think mine was three seventy nine ninety nine, if I'm not mistaken. So you're just a little under four hundred dollars. I'm pretty sure it ships free if you can find them in stock, and if you order directly from Terrain three sixty five, the shipping was super fast. I mean, I got it with, like I said, I got shipping confirmation that same day that I ordered this knife. So I have no quarrels with them. Uh, business with uh, Terrain 365 was great. I know some other places carry this knife. I, there may be one or two in stock over at PVK Vegas. So y'all might check that out. And I'll try to start linking some of these um, knife retailers in my description so that it make it a little more accessible for everybody that watch. If anybody watches these videos and wants to go you know, purchase something that I've got here on the table. So this knife truly is, it's just, it's incredible. Uh, I think that it's just a fantastic design and that Teravantium blade is just cool. I mean, it really is. It's just super cool. You're talking about a 100% corrosive resistance knife. If this thing is taken care of, it should last you a lifetime. One thing to make note about is that, that they do advise with the teravantium that you not use this for prying only slicing so i'm assuming that side to side pressure could potentially chip the blade material and you just want to be careful about that but if you'll keep in mind that this is a knife use it with that intended purpose and that this is not a pry bar i definitely don't think you're going to have any quarrels or a disappointment about the durability of this knife. It just, it feels super solid. I did not mention the lockup on this knife is extremely good. You have no side to side play, no up and down play, and then you have literally no pivot lash. Um, the only thing that I can think of that you might have some problem with is over time where the steel lock bar insert meets the Teravantium blade um, they say that they will get a little bit of a lock, a uh, lock stick, but that that's what that oil they give you is for. If you will take just a drop, put it on the tang of your knife right there in that little groove, it will immediately eliminate lock stick. And I put that oil on there when I got this knife and I've been carrying it for over a month now and I've had no issues with lock stick. I mean, it's just been, a, it's just been absolutely flawless since day one. Very good clicky detent. Very nice. I'm, I mean, don't be on the fence anymore. This knife is totally worth it. That's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. If you hadn't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. I appreciate you guys checking out these videos. I'll try to put links in the descriptions to the things that I've talked about. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, we will see you guys in the next one.